All right, guys, uh, this is Mr. Amit. Uh, today we're going to use the Pi Game Library um, to create a ball bouncing around like this in Python. Uh, Pi Game is a very versatile library used for making animations and games in Python. So let's go ahead and get started with the first part in this series of tutorials on Pi Game. First thing we're going to do is we're going to import um, the Pi Game uh, library. And if you haven't already installed it, you can do that using uh, pip install uh, pygame. Next, we're going to initialize pygame, basically create a pygame object that we can then use. Uh, then we're going to specify the speed at which this ball is going to move in the x direction and the y direction every, um, fr well, every time that the program updates. And the frame rate, so the amount of times per second, um, that these programs update varies. It can also be set manually, but I believe it's probably something around 30 frames per second, so 30 times per second. Next, we're gonna specify the background color in the RGB format as opposed to a hex code. So 255, 255, 255. Uh, we'll actually call it background. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set the uh, screen size. So we'll say size equals, this is gonna be um, width height equals 800, 400. So probably go into a tuple. So we're going to say screen equals pi game uh, dot display dot set mode size with this size. Um, this will probably end up being a tuple for um, size going into here. Um, and then we're going to have, we're going to set the caption. So actually this size, by the way, just for clarification, is the size of the window that we're working with. Uh, next we're gonna have pygame um, dot, uh, display dot set caption. And set caption is just setting this right here. So we're gonna call it uh, bouncing ball. And next we're going to load the image for this ball. So this ball, like we didn't actually make this ball or draw this. Uh, we're going to use this image, this ball.png. And it doesn't work perfectly. There is some white space. So for example, like you can see when it's bouncing um, across, when it's bouncing in the window, it doesn't fully hit the side because of this white space. But you can probably find a better PNG if you look hard. So we can say ball equals pygame uh, dot image dot load and then ball.png. And then we're going to have, we're going to create a rectangle, um, a geometric rectangle that's going to actually contain this ball. So it's actually a rectangle bouncing around, not this image itself in the, in our game or in our, in our window. So ball rect equals ball dot get rect. Um, next we're gonna have something that should look familiar to PySimple GUI users, which is an event loop. Um, or really just an infinite while loop. Um, we do have a really small event loop right here. We're going to say for event in pi game dot event dot get. Um, if event dot type uh, equals pi game dot quit, then uh, go ahead and exit end the program. And by that, we mean if someone clicks right here. So that's actually going to be the end of our event loop. The rest of this code is going to be what happens every time the window refreshes, which is about, well, basically for every frame, right? So 30 times a second or whatever it ends up being. So first we're going to say uh, ball rect equals ball rect uh, dot move speed. And that means that that's going to move one pixel in whatever direction um, each time this refreshes, right? Because this is going to be moving. So we're going to move this rectangle that we created uh, every single time this whole thing refreshes. How many ever times per second that is. So, so we'll say ball move speed. And now we're going to write the rules for what happens when it hits either side, right? So first off, we're going to specify, we're going to say if ball rect dot left is less than zero or 
ball rect dot right is greater than width, then speed zero equals speed zero. So what this means is anytime this ball, the container for this ball, um, anytime its position is less than zero, that means anytime it's the left side of this is hitting right here, or it's hitting right here, um, ball rect dot right is greater than width. So anytime it hits either side, um, left or right, which in this case is going to be width, because this is zero right here, and then this is the maximum width, then we're going to reverse the direction. So speed zero is going to get reversed with negative speed zero. It's basically a vector, right? Um, next, we're going to say ball rect dot top is less than zero. So if the top of this ball is less than zero, or ball rect dot bottom is greater than height. So that means it's going right down here. And you need to understand, in order for this to make sense, you need to understand like how we're actually counting the pixels, right? So this way, and then this way. With this being the maximum this side, this being the maximum this side. And then we're going to reverse. So remember, this right here is the speed in the horizontal direction, and this is the speed in the vertical direction. So speed 0 is the speed horizontally, and speed 1 is the speed vertically. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to reverse the direction. Um, now, we're going to do some additional things. So every time this uh, window refreshes, we're going to basically have to fill in the background, screen.fill background, with our RGB color. By RGB, I mean each of these specifies the value for red, green, and blue. And it's th these are the maximum values because this is white. Next, we're going to do screen.blit. Uh, so ball uh, and then ball rect. And then we're going to do uh, pygame dot uh, display dot flip. Okay. And what this does is this actually takes this ball object, or this takes this image, and glues it on top of ball rect. So this puts both these together each time. And then this one actually updates the display. So using all these settings, uh, this updates the display during each iteration of the window. So that's about it. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and just run that. We'll close our demo program right here. Let's see if we can get this to do the same thing. Okay, looks like we're running right here, and looks like it works. So that's basically an introduction to Pi Game. It's part of a new series that I'm planning on starting. If you enjoy this video and want to see more like it, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Have a nice day.